A reporter's question. Make your decision about health care. Answered with violence. I'm sick and tired of you guys. The last Jesus time you came in here, you did the same thing. Get the hell out of here. Jesus. Get the hell out of here. Montana Republican congressional candidate Greg Gianforte charged with misdemeanor assault after allegedly body slamming Ben Jacobs, a reporter for the Guardian newspaper. Shaking up the high profile special election just hours before polls opened on this election day. Next thing I know, I'm, you know, being slammed down to the ground and uh, a congressional candidate is on top of me. It was very disconcerting. Jacobs was taken from the scene in an ambulance, treated at a hospital. Gianforte's campaign immediately disputing his account, calling the encounter, quote, aggressive behavior from a liberal journalist. But a Fox News reporter witnessed the whole thing. Gianforte grabbed him by the neck, both hands, um, slid him to the side, body slammed him. Tonight, the sheriff who contributed to Gianforte's campaign says, Probable cause existed to issue a notice to appear to Greg Gianforte for the offense of misdemeanor assault. In Montana, Democratic voters were shocked. They cracked under pressure. But Gianforte's supporters willing to forgive. People get pushy, and I think there's a response. And if you if people are pushy all the time, then there's a response. He's even raised $100,000 online since the incident. Back in Washington, Republicans struggling to answer for his actions. Um, should the gentleman apologize? Yeah, I think he should apologize. Before the incident, Gianforte had a narrow lead over Democratic candidate Rob Quist. President Trump trying to help him over the finish line. He's a wonderful guy. He knows how to win. When asked tonight if the president stands by his endorsement, a White House spokesman said no comment. As polls close the race in Montana. You just body slammed me and broke my glasses. Get the hell out of here. Shoved in a different direction. I think that the Republican candidate, GM Forte, was certainly a student of Donald Trump's success when it comes to standing up to the media and weaponizing an aggressive pushback. And news of this altercation may not have much impact here in a state that President Trump won overwhelmingly. About two thirds of Montana voters have already voted early or absentee. And under Montana law, they can't change those votes now. Lester. Casey Hunt in Montana, thank you. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.